All right, good, good, beautiful. So you take sand and fire and put it together and you have glass and you make, it turns into a liquid. Imagine the sand turns into a liquid and then you stick a pipe in there and gather it up like honey and bring it out and blow down there and you blow a shape that over the centuries, glass blowers have learned to make it into an incredible array of forms. And I've been lucky yes. enough to come along at the right time, at the right place, uh, to be able to expand many of the forms that were made throughout this 2,000 year history. I was using just human breath going down into this miraculous material, blowing it up, pushing its limits, making it as thin as I could, getting it so hot that it would almost collapse and begin to move. So I, I was pushing the edge of thinness and collapsibility and making new forms. You know, the baskets did evolve into the sea forms and the sea forms evolved into the Persians. But you know, a series like the Venetians will come in, which are totally different. You know, or the chandeliers which came out of nowhere. It requires a, a totally a different type of thinking. I mean, we're not talking about objects here. We're talking about 12 or 1400 pieces of glass making one object. And really what I've always been interested in is space. Even when I made the cylinders, the single object cylinder, or the machias, my, my interest was always in space. So I was thinking not of the object itself, but how the object would look in a room. The chandeliers don't really relate to that evolution of the basket sea forms Persians probably. So, you know, as an artist, I, I just make, I just work, I just, things just come out. So it's, it's not that you're constantly searching for something new. It's just that something new comes. This is important. Make them as big as we can. Bigger, the better. I don't know why I work so large. I very often push a series to its maximum size. I, I think sometimes I do it just to keep the glass blowers uh, at the very edge of their technical ability, to keep the tension high, to make it exciting, to make it so that we don't know whether it's gonna break or not break. If you know exactly what you're doing and you can make it every time, it's not gonna be interesting. It has to have this tension if the pieces are gonna be good. And so we constantly push ourselves, you know. I push them, they push me. Uh, I try to get them to go beyond what they can do. Um, it's more interesting that way. 